What's up? It's Monday. We're doing a variation of the classic CrossFit benchmark Fran. Today we're going to be using two dumbbells and we'll be doing strict pull-ups instead of kipping. Since we're using dumbbells and doing strict pull-ups, you can expect this to be a little slower pace. It's not going to be that three to eight minute sprint, but probably more like six to 12 minutes for most people today. The dumbbell thrusters, you'll have two dumbbells. Pick them up from the floor. When they're resting on the shoulder, we want to see one side of the dumbbell resting on top of the shoulder. We want that contact for stability. Perform a full squat, hips go below parallel, heels stay on the floor. Then as you stand up out of the squat, press up overhead. Fernando's going to show us a few reps in a row. Notice on the way down, he catches the dumbbells on the shoulder as he descends into his squat. Perfect. You'll do 21 reps of these. Then you'll move to a pull-up bar. You'll perform 21 strict pull-ups. The range of motion is elbow straight at the bottom, chin passes the top of the bar on the way up. These are gonna to be tough, so feel free to break these up early in the workout so you don't break down to singles. After your 21 pull-ups, you'll go back for 15 thrusters, 15 pull-ups, nine thrusters, nine pull-ups. That's Fran. If you have really light dumbbells, feel free to uh, scale up the reps to 30, 20, 10. If you have really heavy dumbbells or the pull-ups are gonna take a long time, feel free to scale down the reps, 15, 12, nine, or even 12, nine, six, something so we can target that six to 12 minute workout. If you only have a single dumbbell, you can perform single dumbbell thrusters. Same range of motion, same movement, alternate reps whenever you like. And again, depending on the dumbbell weight, feel free to scale up the reps if appropriate for the time frame. Excellent. If you're not gonna be doing pull-ups, you can perform ring rows. Looking for the body to stay straight at the bottom and the rings to touch the chest at the top of the row. If you don't have a set of rings or a towel that you can set up for this, you can grab any odd object. You can use kettlebells, dumbbells, a sandbag, a backpack, and do two times the reps of a bent over row. Drop the chest down, keep the back straight, pull the object to your chest. That's our workout today, guys. Let's start the week strong with strict Fran. Warming up for Fran. We are gonna do four rounds. You're gonna do four inchworm push-ups, then three inchworm push-ups, then two inchworm push-ups, then one inchworm push-ups. Those are our four rounds, descending reps. After each set of inchworm push-ups, you are gonna do three movements, 30 seconds each. 30 seconds in a hollow hold. You're gonna lay down, facing up on the ground, squeeze the feet together, hands up overhead, Focus on pushing the belly down into the ground, pulling this good hollow position. After that, you're gonna to move to your dumbbell. You can do lateral hops over the dumbbell for 30 seconds, warming up the legs and lower body a little bit. Finally, pick up the dumbbell, hold it in front of your chest in the goblet squat position. And you're going to do 30 seconds of goblet squats, warming up those hips and knees. No need to pause at the bottom, just moving up and down. And you can hold the dumbbell one of two ways. You can hold it on either end of the dumbbell or, or hold it vertically, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. Today's body armor is going to be Bulgarian split squats. You're going to have a chair or bench, any object you have that you can elevate your foot on. You're going to have one foot resting on top of that box. You're gonna step your front foot far enough forward so that the knee isn't gonna travel too far in front of your toe and you're not gonna come up onto your toes during this movement. So we're gonna pick up a pair of dumbbells, one or two, you can hold them in the hands or up on the shoulders. You're gonna do 30 second hold at the bottom, somewhere around 90 degrees or parallel uh, in the hip. After your 30 seconds, set the dumbbells down, stay where you are, and then 30 more seconds, do as many reps unweighted as you can, up and down. Once you finish one side, switch right to the other. 30 second hold at the bottom on the other leg, 
followed by 30 seconds of max unweighted reps. You'll rest one minute, repeat for three total rounds.